the man to watch. He makes goal scoring look easy, as evidenced by his recent record. This is EA TV. Hello, everyone. The heavens opened earlier, and the rain shows no inclination to stop. We're looking forward to the game anyway. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Brentford, and they take on Cardiff City. Well, cheers, Derek. These away fans are in good voice here, and that's because they got a good result in their opening fixture. They did a lot of good things, they had a definite game plan, and they got the win they wanted. They'll certainly need to reproduce that performance again today. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Brentford. Well, it's a back four, a narrow midfield three, and a very disconnected front three. But if the midfield players give good support to the central striker, this 4 3 3 system could work really well today. Right, something has happened at Carroll Road, so let's send it over to Alex Scott. It's a goal for West Brom. They've scored the opener with 12 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Tanner. Joel Bagan. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, what form he's been in recently. Whenever a chance seems to come his way, he finishes it. Of course he'll be tightly marked today, but I still fancy him to add to his recent tally of goals. Well, it's a decent-looking attack, this. Who can he pick out? It comes to absolutely nothing. That's a good pass. And tossing through. And they put it in. Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Now with Moore. And Cardiff giving it away. Good bit of closing down. Right, a goal update to bring you from the Preston North End match. Over to Alex for the details. Yep. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? Well, apologies to Alex for having to interrupt her. To confirm, Preston did score in that game, and they now hold a 1-0 lead. Tanner. It's with El Ghazi. Oli Tanner. And in with a real chance. And goes for goal! Pounds away by the keeper. The first half here comes to an end. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. And he's made headway. Must be a tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Moore. And news of a goal at the Vitality Stadium. Here's Alex Scott. It's a goal for Bournemouth. It's all even Might take the lead. Well, goal kick just as it was looking promising. Here it is now, a substitution. Well, sincere apologies to Alex, I must say, because we had to cut her off just when she was in full flow. To clarify, Bournemouth have found the net in that match, and it's level now at one goal apiece. Chance maybe to use their counter-attacking ability to good effect. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. 
one has promise. Well, Manchester City have been busy in the transfer market. The contract situation finally ironed out, and he could be available very soon, Stuart. Can they convert? It has to be a smart stop here. And time for the change now. Trying to deliver it accurately. Another live game in the championship coming your way on EA TV. It's Brentford. Well, it could be on for him here. A lovely attempt. Oh, that is a moment of pure quality. A goal for football lovers to enjoy the world over. His determination there for all to see. And I'm hearing the situation has changed in the Norwich game. Alex Scott, what exactly has happened? It's a goal for West Brom. Could the goalkeeper have done better? Yes, but let's not take nothing away from that finish. They're pulled ahead by two with 73 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Good looking move this. And the cross goes in. And ready to strike. Can they stop it going in? Oh, and he puts away the second chance. Goalkeeper error. Important interception. Now with Moore. It looks promising. Could pull one back here. Well, the main conclusion is made it far too easy for the keeper. Well, I don't think you can believe it. That's such an easy save in the end. Intense pressure. No well, foul play, says the referee. Substitution time it is here. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Jensen. Can he make it count? Surely now. And that is the end of the contest and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. Well, it's certainly not the result they were hoping for. But after their opening day win, they won't be too alarmed going into the next match, that's for sure. Match day is upon us, fans are pouring into the stadium, anticipation has reached an all-time high. All the action here on EA TV. Hello and thanks for joining us live here on EA TV. Guy Mowbray with you for commentary, delighted to be joined by Sue Smith. And we have championship action on the way, it's Cardiff City and they take on Bolton Wanderers. Well, it's been a positive start to the campaign for our hosts. When I looked at the fixtures, I did wonder how many points they pick up. Some tricky matches, so I'm sure they'll be pleased overall. Let's see what performance we get from them here today. A turnaround in possession, excellent positioning. Could turn out to be a really good ball. I just heard of a goal somewhere else, so over to Alex Scott. Alex, what's happened? It's a goal for Millwall. They're the first on the score sheet here with eight minutes played. As ever, thank you, Alex. And able to come away with the ball. Well, it's no surprise to see who we focused on as our player to watch in this game. You would presume that he'd play a really big part. Yeah, what form he's been in. To score four goals in his last three games is just superb. And it's going to be a big ask trying to stop him today. Just getting bogged down a touch in midfield. 
Well, what a place to lose the ball just when the chance was on. Keeper Moore. Just been told of a goal elsewhere, so let's cross to Alex for news about it. It's a goal for Bristol City. It's now 1-0 with 23 minutes played. Alex there ensuring we don't miss a thing. And possession given away. The ref spotting the deflection, throw in to come. possession but not really going anywhere fast with it edging ever closer to goal here but able to deal with the danger decisively well defended able to skip past Picks out a teammate. Oh, it's hit the post. Can he finish? Very well kept out, alert and ready. And the referee's whistle brings the first 45 minutes to a close. The ball is rolling and the second half is underway. And news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alex Scott. Yeah, it's a goal for West Brom. It's... Oh, not the best of challenges. What's the ref going to do here? And the attack is over. Really good defending. Well, Manchester City have completed the deal they've been working on and they've got the player they've been after for quite a while soon. Is this the equaliser? And a really good bit of goalkeeping to keep that out. Well, they'll be disappointed to still be behind here, but we have to praise the goalkeeper for an incredible save. You just think if they continue with this positive play, it's only a matter of time. He's got time, what about the finish? And that's offside. So close to getting into score. Fine margins. Keeper more. And this could be. Oh, it was a great chance. And it should have been taken. Well, I'm not sure he'll get many chances better than that to even the score. He's going to be disappointed he couldn't put that one away. There's been a goal in another game, and Alex can give us the details. Yeah, it's a goal for Middlesbrough. They're back level. It's one all with 70 minutes on the clock. Alex there keeping us informed all the way. Counter-attack coming, away they go. I'm afraid that's where it ends for them. ball forward what can they do with this and they'll be able to get it away now with a goal kick El Ghazi
Well, with full time approaching, the bulk of the crowd won't be happy with how things stand and not long to remedy it. Well, they'll believe that they can get an equaliser here. They've been pushing, but sometimes you just have to go long, feed off the scraps and hope it falls for you. But it will now be tidied up and cleared away. And they could get caught out on the break here. He's beaten his marker here. Now, can this be attacked? Well, that brings the match to a close. A frustrating day for the fans in attendance. And it's three points dropped. Well, certainly not at the best today. A few of the players not quite at it. Too many errors for me, and that's been the case in the opening fixtures too. They do need to improve before the next match. Well, he's put in a more than satisfactory shift over the course of the game. What's your assessment, Sue? Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.